Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys straight from T-Mobile's newsroom. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. T-Mobile expands 5G network coverage in Virginia. So we'll just get into this very briefly. What's the news? T-Mobile has upgraded 5G service across nearly 32,000 square miles of the old Dominion state, covering nearly 97% of Virginians. Why it matters, T-Mobile network investment provides more capacity coverage, reliability, and speed than ever before in Virginia. Who is it for? Wireless users from Fairfax, South Hill, Cape Charles, and everywhere in between. So I'll leave this in the description as you can see since 2021 t-mobile has added over 900 towers and upgraded more than 1500 existing towers across the strait to expand its 5g footprint now here's something that i that i want to that I, that's been on my mind for some time now and i wanted to bring that up in this in this video t-mobile is still pretty much in the middle of expanding its network right that 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 job is not done with right they may have they're, they may be completing the, the N41 rollout, right? The 300 million pops. But they're still like really in the middle of deploying their, their network, right? They're deploying it in rural areas. So here's something that I, that I wanted to talk about and bring up, right? The millimeter wave thing, right? That's been sitting on my mind for a while now. If T-Mobile sets aside capital, right? Two to three billion specifically for a millimeter wave deployment. I think that's going to bring up a huge discussion and that's going to anger the tech enthusiasts. The wireless tech enthusiasts are probably going to be upset, right? There's going to be a lot of back and forth on this. Why? Because I guarantee you some are going to bring up commentary. They're going to say, well, wait a minute. They're spending $3 billion of separate capital on millimeter wave. And I still don't have coverage in 10 buck too. I still don't have a reliable network grid because I don't have backup power. But yet T-Mobile is dedicating two to three billion dollars on millimeter wave. I guarantee you that's going to be the conversation. If they shift right now, if they come out with the, with the guidance to say we're going to deploy X amount of dollars on millimeter wave, people are going to bring up those conversations. They are going to say you are still the smaller network. You still lack a ton of backup power to sites to make it even more of a reliable network, but yet you're going to invest a separate capital on millimeter wave. That's what a lot of people are going to say, right? A lot of people, there are a few people that are upset that T-Mobile is not deploying the millimeter wave, but I guarantee you when they announce a separate capital on top of the nine to 10 billion for millimeter wave, people are going to question that too. I guarantee you they will question that. They're going to question it. They're going to say, I still don't have coverage in my town, but yet you're, you're spending billions of dollars deploying millimeter wave in other areas. Bring coverage to my area first and then deploy the millimeter wave is what, is what people are going to say. And maybe that's a tough decision for T-Mobile to make internally. You know, we've never discussed it from that perspective. Maybe T-Mobile knows they need to start deploying the millimeter wave already. But yet everything else that they're doing, growing in rural, uh, the network and of course the, the the market share maybe that's more successful for them right now maybe they can do that a lot sooner and quicker right millimeter wave is going to be a very tedious slow process there there's only going to be in a yearly capex year right an annual year there's only going to be so much that you can do with millimeter wave right just ask verizon it took them i mean they started this in 2017 it's 2023 Right. They still have a ways to go to get that to a substantial coverage footprint. Yes, they have it in some areas, in some neighborhoods, but it's not everywhere. Right. Like here, for example, in my area, I still have to travel to the east side of town to get to millimeter wave. Right. Which is about a 20 minute drive. So. They still have a ways to go. They're bringing it eventually, but it, 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 it's, it's a tedious process. You got to get the ILEC on board. You got to get them deploying the, fa the the fiber. You know, we discussed that already. But that's just a, the perspective that I wanted to bring. You know, if T-Mobile did implement this, the people are going to say, well, I still don't have backup power at, at my site. I still don't have 10 gig backhaul. 
You know, th- that's going to that's going to be brought up. I guarantee it. If T-Mobile implements that, that's going to be the discussion. So let me know. Is it too soon right now to deploy millimeter wave for T-Mobile if we're seeing them make enhancements like you're seeing here in Virginia? Or do they already need to start incorporating that into the capital plans? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next one. Peace.